Welcome back. In the previous part, we got ourselves another Curio de Art down in the labyrinth. So, let's go see what the witch report is about this time. While Fanti's out exploring, I'm currently researching the four Curios de Art we've obtained. The first one's known as the Testurant. It's a pendant shaped Curio. Its powers are completely unknown. What I will say is my magic has increased while holding it. So there's a chance it had a part in it, but I'm not certain yet. The second one is the ancient coin of Est. I assumed it summons misfortune when one holds it, but sometimes it seems that's not the case. Third is the screw of Galaya. Honestly, I have no idea what it does. It may only activate under special conditions. The fourth one is Suya's mirror. From what I can know, it seems to nullify the magic of the one reflected. The issue I have is, how do you know the names of them? Normally, it's fogged over. I'm fairly sure of it. That's all four items. However, the location of the ancient coin of Est is currently unknown. I suspect the journalist. I plan to discuss it with the Count. Also, I've made Eureka keep a pet bird. When the owner of a house keeps a small pet, it shall bear the full force of any curse. Oh. Looks like she named the bird Ruru. Yeah, that came up once before, didn't it? And I was very confused where that name came from. Mm-hmm. It's the same name as a bird she had long ago. I don't care as long as she's the one who named it. I'm sure that even the slightest hint of a curse here would take out such a weak little animal. It's a safety precaution if something goes wrong. P.S. Yeah, still nothing from Kit. I don't know if something's up or not. I'm honestly worried about whether or not I'll ever be told to come home. Aw. There. That'll do it. Huh? Are you back, Fanti? Hello! Sweet. That's our fifth curio to art, then. Well, there's still a lot to figure out but I better tell the Count about them. And the thief. He is not going to be happy about the thief. A ruckus is heard coming from the tribuna. Not sure why, but it seems like there's been a lot of commotion upstairs since morning. <sighs> been a bit since my last all-nighter. Hold on, it's afternoon already? The fifth curio de art. Maybe I'll investigate it first, and then sleep. C count The look on Naturo's face, though. <laughs> it's just something about it that just tickles me funny bone, you know. Come on, come on! Yeah! <sighs> what is going on? Nay for me, Bray Pony Bismont! Yeah! What? Me! 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 <sighs> Count Bismont approaches, crawling about on all fours with a well dressed person on his back. Oh, we have seen you once before. What's going on? What are you looking at? Uh, uh, I think the journalist who visited the other day has stolen one of the curio. Huh? Who are you? Huh? Madam Witch, this is Prince Hubert. His Royal Highness is also an artist, and he has come here today seeking inspiration for his work. I'm deeply honored that a member of the royal family has chosen to visit us. He'll be staying for some time. So be sure to mind your manners. Well then, your highness, please ask my servants if there's anything you desire, no matter what that may be. Is that clear, Madam Witch? I expect you to behave appropriately and avoid making careless mistakes. I really do enjoy this music, by the way. It's just, it's so fun. It's so fun. When I first heard it, I was very much like, yeah, I need to use that as the intro music. Bismont whispers in Naturo's ear. I'll show you no mercy if you're accused of Lee's majesty for opposing him. You must obey him. Understood? Oh my.
Count Bismont gallops off in a manner never seen before as he leaves the room. He's escaped. Uh, Count Bismont? Huh. Ask the servants, huh? As far as I'm concerned, he's one of them as well. So, you're the shady witch who restored that old tart's youth? That's one way of putting it. Huh. You're younger than I expected. Like you're a kid or something. How old are you anyway? Huh? I'm... 17. Really? Do boobs grow that big at 17? Or did you use magic to shape them? Let me squeeze that padding of yours. Dude. No. Hey, stop! As Hubert reaches towards Naturo's chest... Prince Hubert, let me show you. You should do it like this. What? Uh, uh, what was that? Oh, was that the power of the curio? What? What? You're enjoying this? How disgusting! Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Prince! Y Your Highness! Um, food's ready! It's absolutely scrumptious! Please enjoy! Food? You mean my regale, yes? You are quite empty-headed, aren't you? Your regale, oh my. <laughs> but your meal really is a grand feast! Very well, I'll try some. You, prepare to show me some of your magic. Will any magic do? Try to restore the Count's youth right before me using the same potion you made for that hag. Then I'll believe your whole witch story. Prince Hubert leaves. What's his problem? Indeed. Guess I'll have to make that potion again. It uses such rare ingredients, too. I'm gonna have to go get them, aren't I? What is this? Scraps? Huh? It was made with fresh vegetables grown by Miss Toba. So it's just grass? That's not what she said. Well, wait! I can vouch for how delicious it tastes! Please try it! This stew gains the praise of even the pickiest critics back in my village. <laughs> Prince Hubert spits it out. <gasps> These are disgusting, muddy flowers. Oh, those daisies are the pride of my village. I pressed them and brought them here as a good luck charm, but now I've used them to... They reek. You dare attempt to make me eat this filth? I'd behead you if we were at the royal capital. Good job we're not then, innit? Prince Hubert hurls a plate as it breaks a shard grazes Eureka's face. Oh no! Uh. I've lost my appetite. If you want to see the morning sun tomorrow, make sure dinner is at least edible. I... I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh. Summon the Count and that witch. It's time she showed off her magic. Come on, I've waited a whole damn hour already. Hurry up and show me. Count, uh, I think I'll only be making you a bit younger since this potion is rather small. Ha 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 ha. This is perfect. I've been feeling more and more tired as of late. The only question I have around this potion she's making, is it... Similar to the one that the witches have over on El Stella. Because they did say that non-witches can't have it. Is there a reason for that? Does it just not work? Or is there something else? Hmm. I'm so deeply grateful for his royal highness's kind consideration. Enough flattery. Get on with it. Oh, and just so you know, if this magic fails, then all of you will have to submit to my will as obedient servants from now on. No. 
You shall do whatever I fancy. I don't think we will. What are you even talking about? I refuse to be conned after being dragged out to the ghettos. I am royalty. If you refuse, I'll have you thrown in jail. <laughs> anyway, get it over and done with, Count. Drink up. Count Bismont grips the bottle with resolve before drinking just a mouthful of the potion. Take some more. R right. Count Bismond takes a second, then third sip, but unlike the Queen, nothing happens. Why? Uh, I knew it was a sham. But it worked for the Queen. Why is it different this time? Look, I'll give you one final chance. Come with me, redheaded tramp. As for the Count and the Blonde, I won't need you. Nachi! <laughs> Scared you just now, didn't I? I take it you've received a thrashing by them before? I'm well aware. Then why did you ask the question? Kinda redundant. <sighs> Ah, here he comes. Patch brings over a donkey. S Sir King, I got it. Uh, I mean, I have brought it, good sir. <laughs> this is the first lackey I made on my way over here. Which means this kid is your superior, redhead. Give him a proper greeting. N nice to meet you. <laughs> he huh. Hey, don't move, Koo! <clears throat> Listen, Reddy. This is your last chance. If you're a real witch, turn this ass into a man. People say witches turn people into rats and frogs all the time. Yeah, but how do you know witches can actually do that? I can't do it. Humans can be turned into animals, but I doubt animals can be turned into humans. Oh? Very well. Do that instead. It's probably not a good idea to use the Count. Hmm. Should be fine if you use the dim-witted blonde, though. Turn her into a donkey. It'll be amusing. She won't know what hit her. If you do that, I will exonerate you. Huh? Look, you don't know a thing about her. What's with you, red-headed tramp? You sure are defiant. Let me be clear. If you ever defy me or try anything, let's see, then I'll have my guards toy with the two of you until you both die. Did you really come here in search of inspiration for your art? Maybe we should turn him into a toad. Excuse me? What would a commoner like you know about the creative forces that inspire art? Shut your mouth, tramp. Here, I'll even give you some time. Make sure everything is ready by tomorrow. Prince Hubert departs. N Nachi! Are you okay? Your face. The wound on Eureka's forehead is bleeding, possibly due to her not tending well to it. <laughs> I'm fine. It's just a small cut. It's bleeding quite a lot, although it's a forehead cut. You do bleed quite a lot from the forehead. <sighs> oh. Explore the labyrinth and find a curio de art. And a new request has been added. Where? There we are. Ooh, a choir pact. I have several of them anyway, but, you know. That's fine. That's fine. Um, let's dispatch here and see where we're looking at next. So we did you. That's the thing. Like, like is that one? Like, the, the one here would be right there, wouldn't it? It seems to be like the final areas. 
Aha. Like, because that area exists already. But it doesn't have the green exclamation. But the final sort of gooey darkness area, that's where the green exclamations come in. So we want to go all the way from the start. Simple as that, really. And then it's down. All we go. I'm still wondering what's going on with these sun symbols, though. The the ornaments on the wall. Let's get that as well. Wow! Ten mana! So great. Just gotta make our way there now. It's a shame they don't have elevators. You get there so quickly. So quickly. Elevatoriums. 200. Yeah. Yeah. Not too fussed about 200. Um, let's go Fog Veil, because then we'll be fine when we go through this. Again, I like this little area just because it's a test of all the things you've picked up along the way. It's not really an issue once you've got everything. But you wouldn't be able to make it through here too well without it. And then, then you get to the door anyway, you know. Alright, let's get up. There we go. And we're away. The space before you starts distorting. As you and your party open your eyes, you find yourself in a completely different location. Seems you've been taken from where you were. You exceeded the mana density for this floor. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Gotta get those exp- No! What did the explorations- Although there's some in there I could get, but- I mean, I may, I may as well, I may as, I may as well. Hmm. Oh, some fine porcelain. There's one down there, but I can't be bothered for that. Um, there we go. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, yes, go, 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 go. There we go. Get the exploration in. There we go. You've discovered a sun-shaped relic. You've seen something like this before. Maybe it's a similar device? You put your hand to it, but nothing seems to happen. Another broken one? Maybe it'll fix itself over time. Time to head back and report to the witch. Oh! That just looked weird because, like, they got the red bit in front of the exclamation. Does the device malfunction and link to another world? Too dangerous. What? I'm not sure on that one. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll just get out. Can I put two mud exits? Yeah. That's the easiest way of getting a mud exit back, isn't it, really, when you've got so much reinforcement? Right. Back to the witch. A young man that calls himself a prince arrived. Looks like he heard about the Queen's youth being restored and wants me to show my magic. If I don't, I might get jailed. I'm so not used to how they do things here. I want to go back to Alstella. Kit hasn't made contact. Am I stuck? I haven't been able to check out the curio Fanti brought back yesterday. It's the middle of the night, but I need to fulfill the Prince's request. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. <sighs> but I gotta think of a way to do this. Turn the donkey into a human? Or any animal? What if Eureka... Uh, no, I can't. I'll probably be able to turn her back afterwards, but I don't know what side effects there might be. If only I could turn an animal into a human. Gah, why did I leave Paul's Book of Magic behind? Damn it. Still. Let me be clear. If you ever defy me or try anything, let's see, then I'll have my guards toy with the two of you until you both die. Could just simply turn him and his guards into toads. Be done with it. Uh, this place is so 
barbaric. If I can't do what he's asking, I can at least show him some magic. But I don't know how much I can do with the mana here. Ugh. Nechido's ring glows. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Rue? Can you see me? Hear me? K Kit? Oh, you sound well. Seems like you're having fun. I wouldn't put it that way. What? Moron, you're such an idiot! Why haven't you contacted me? Ah, my bad. I tried a couple of times, but it didn't go through. Wonder why. Like I'd have a clue. Calm down, I'm talking to you right now, aren't I? All's well that ends well. <sighs> okay, fine. Whatever. Still no Claris, huh? Oh, your old pal Kit not good enough for you. I haven't seen Claris around. She won't usually show up unless the UP does. So how are things over there? You getting by without making contact? Um, yeah. Huh? Um, so, about that. I've actually been found. Not just by people in the manor, but other people, too. It's pretty much impossible to stay hidden. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I thought that was the case. You did your best. That's what matters. Then why was that even a rule? Oh, anyway. You're not mad? How can I be? You're the one off in Aluna putting your best foot forward. Just try not to stir trouble. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to mention. There's a Prince Hubert here right now. You know what's up with that guy? Prince Hubert? One second. Hmm. There's no Hubert in the history books. There's a Hurian and a Bert, though. Huh. Interesting. Maybe you got the name wrong. Or... Maybe he's faking his identity. Dun dun dun. That can't be right. <sighs> Don't let it get to you too much. You only have three things you gotta do. Make sure you eat right, wash your face every morning, and don't fool around too much by yourself. Hey, w what are you talking about? <laughs> Nellie told me. What did, ne what, what did Nellie say? If you fall asleep and screw up, well, I won't even be able to look at you. Whoops, looks like the connection's not doing so hot. We might get cut off. Oh, one last thing. There is one rule you absolutely cannot break. Don't talk about Alstella. Don't even mention its name. Also, you can use magical items and potions, but don't use magic in a way that it can't be perceived as anything else but magic. Got it? Huh? That's two things. And why'd you wait until now to tell me? And how's my mom? I do wonder, like, what, what time is passing in Alstella right now. Like, how long has it been there? Oh, no. Wait. I still have questions. Kit Kat's projection suddenly disappears. It cut out. Give me a break. We finally got in touch. I wanted Kit to help me, but I just got a warning instead. N Nachi, what was that just now? Huh? Uh, what do you mean, just now? That thing you just did, that super amazing magic! Who was that? What did you hear? Uh, I think you're seeing things. Huh? No, I'm not. I was watching the whole time. That person mentioned history and... All Stella? Stuff like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. You heard all of it? I guess I'll just have to turn you into an animal. Huh? <sighs> like I could do that. 
Okay, fine. I'll explain, but only as much as I'm allowed to. You have to be really careful with this. And don't tell the Count or anyone else about anything you heard. Never, ever, ever. So it's like... a secret? Yes, don't... tell anyone. Of course I won't tell! It's important to you, after all! I won't tell a soul! No way! But I need to do something about the prince's request right now. The prince's request? What do you mean? Naturu explains her talk with Prince Hubert. Okay, so you're a witch, but you don't want to put your magic on display, right? In that case, as long as you do something that just looks like magic, he should believe you. Huh? I mean, you've made loads of impressive potions, and you've done tons of other things too, haven't you? I haven't seen you shoot sparks and light everywhere and stuff, but I know you're a great witch! Maybe I can pull it off with a curio. I could enchant something and use Suya's mirror to dispel it. Yeah, that could work. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe. Thanks, Yuri. This just might work. So you thought of a way to do it? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that! P -p Prince Hubert, considering the works of art here, animals are not... Shut your mouth! What I say goes. For the rest of the day, Count? Until I say otherwise, you won't take a single step out of your room. Dear God, Hubert's so annoying. Do you understand? Prince Hubert and Patch come in with a donkey. Like, maybe he gets turned into a donkey as well. I'm just thinking, like, we had that sort of dream in the past with the donkey. Maybe that's what happens to Hubert. Now then, Scarlet Harlot. It's time for you to give me a good show. I said this already, but I can't turn animals into people. I can show you magic some other way, though. That'll be enough, right? Excuse me? How dare you? I even went out of my way to bring a donkey here. <sighs> I suppose it's fine as long as you can prove that you're a witch. But if you screw up this time, you'll have to turn Blondie into an animal. As my third follower, hmm. <laughs> You'll be Patches first. Um... <sighs> Say whatever you want, you dumb brat. Nechiru silently takes out the curio and the item she turned into a glass apple last night. I'll use the mirror to turn the apple on this donkey's head into a flower. <sighs> Naturo holds the mirror in front of the apple, causing it to glow and shift before everyone. Wow! It turned into a flower! You did it! Please. That's the sort of trick a street-side magician does to fool kids. I've seen enough. You can't use magic. End of story. Huh? Uh, um... Uh-oh. Who's... What? Huh? The donkey begins to transform. And before long, a m naked man stands behind Prince Hubert. Uh. So, wait. Who... Who was turned into a donkey previously? What? It's... The... The donkey? Who are you? Who? The donkey suddenly climbs on Prince Hubert. Ugh, gross! Gross! Ugh, help me! Get this thing off of me! Hey, you wanted to see a magic trick. <laughs> what? Just happened?
How's the prince? He just woke up. I'm going to have a little chat with him now that he seems to have calmed down a bit. Okay. Ku's in the corner of the room, terrified. What was all that? It wasn't your magic? No. Why did the donkey turn into some naked old guy? It doesn't make any sense. Again, it must be a case of like, he was already a human beforehand, because it reversed the magic, so... It had to have been the curio. I can't just leave things like this either. I'll look into Ku... The donkey guy, I mean, a little more. <laughs> How are you holding up? <laughs> I was wondering if you would like to talk, but only if you want to. Is she really a witch? Did she really make that old bat younger? Y yep that's right! Nachi's incredible! She's a great witch! A great witch. Okay, I'll talk to you. But you have to take off your clothes. Dude. Hurry up already! Off with your clothes! There's that dream. Huh? I can't! It's not proper! So what? I don't care! Close off! Hurry up! Uh... uh... I'll be embarrassed if I'm the only one. What? Prince Hubert loses his patient as Eureka fidgets. Uh, whatever! You can keep your clothes on, but... Put out the lights as soon as you get a look! What? And, other than the witch, you better not tell anyone about this. Got it? Lord Norton and that old queen don't know about this. What is going on? Huh? Prince, you, you're a girl? Oh. What? You think it's weird? Well, I guess it might be. My family made a pact with a witch a long time ago. My bloodline received authority in exchange for only birthing daughters. The royal families experienced peace and stability, but only women were born into it. Every single one of us, female. But my father wanted me to be a prince, so he told me to act like one in front of others. I even changed my name to Hubert. That's... Awful. No, it's not. Because... I am a man at heart. But... As a man, I also like men. Don't you get it? Huh? But I like guys too. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not my point. My body might be female, but I know I'm a man. At the same time, I... still like men! Ugh, you don't understand anything I'm saying, do you? I don't even get it myself. It's so frustrating. Nobody understands me. Who am I supposed to talk to about this? Who could even do anything for me? I mean, yeah, considering the relative time period. Uh, I get it. I mean, I'm not very bright, so I don't exactly understand what you're going through, but I get it. Empty words! Have you ever heard the sound of your heart stuttering in your chest? The sound of it tearing apart? You don't get it at all. Don't try and pretend you can. I do! You're stuck in a rut you can't break free of. I understand that much. Oh, I really like Eureka here. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't really fully get what's going on. But she knows that they're in pain. You've been through a lot of pain. There you go. Yeah. The reason I came here, it doesn't have anything to do with artistic inspiration. Oh, I see. That's why you're looking for a witch. It's because... I saw the old lady looking all young again. I figured if anyone could help me, 
it'd be the witch who helped her. That does make sense. If you feel that strongly about it, I'm sure Nachi will help. Really? Yeah, she's a great witch after all. I don't know why, but you remind me of my mother. The prince went home with a smile. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? He really did get inspiration for his artwork. <laughs> the credit's all yours. If I talked to him any more than I did, I probably would have decked him. No! It was thanks to all your hard work. You endured everything and did your best. You even granted his wish of having a male body. Wait, that was it? We were just moving on? Just like, oh yeah, we did it in, in the fade out, fade in. Like, what? That was just luck. I didn't know it was possible to become a man just by looking into some mirror. Hmm, so how exactly is this mirror working? So, if we looked into it, would we turn into men too? No, I don't feel like that's what it's going to be doing. I can see how she's thinking that logic though, but maybe it's more magic based? And because it's a mirror, it's reversing things. Maybe it's just reversing the witch's pact that they agreed to. That could be what it's doing. But we have limited examples right now to really pull from, so it could be doing something else. I'm not entirely sure at this point. I... I don't think so. But we'd better not mess with it. I don't know anything about this curio. Who knows what impact changing genders would have. There's a good chance I might have changed history if he's in the line for the crown. Curio sure are amazing, huh? Maybe this puppet will start moving if you aim the mirror at it. Maybe. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! As an ex... As aspirated Naturo watches, Eureka holds the mirror up to uh, and and at the, the bisque doll, causing it to glow and transform like the donkey did. Uh. Huh. What? Oh, look at that adorable face! What? <laughs> What's going on? You lost the bisque doll. <laughs> Huh. That was interesting. That was very interesting. New request anyway. Dying with a smile. So, we'll end this part here, and in the next part we'll go back to that room where we couldn't get the Curio de Art. We'll start there because the symbol seemed to be broken, didn't it? The sun symbol. So we'll see you in the next part anyway. Ta-da for now.